So Wickham will get us underway at the start of the second half. They lead by two goals to one. And Wickham defending the tunnel end in this second period. This game not over yet. Incidentally, 30 years ago, the non-league showpiece, the FA Amateur Cup, was contested by a team called Wimbledon. They're now a Premier League outfit. Just shows how far you can go. Paul Robertson for Runcorn. Hyde, that was spinning like a top as it went through to him. Hutchinson goes over and he was caught just outside the area. It's a free kick to Wickham. Well, Wickham scored, of course, from a dead ball situation right at the start of this game. Carroll, Guppy. And the crowd seemed to think that had come off a hand. Thompson trying to find his way through. He's done well. He's got the ball into the middle, but it's a corner. Graham Hill just knocking it away. Guppy. Scott. Keith Scott appears to be wearing a jersey with only half a number on at the moment. Dave Carroll will take the corner and it's another corner to Wickham while Arthur Williams is furious with the referee and that time it went straight to the run corn keeper Shaughnessy, a score of Runcorn's goal. Anderson trying to thread it through. A little bit frenetic at the start of the second half. And there's the... with the leading scorer, Keith Scott. Doesn't really matter what number he's wearing, I suppose. like Keith Ryan's numbers come adrift as well. Fades away. Andy Kerr.
O'Shaughnessy. Does well to keep it in. And Andy Kerr puts an end to the nonsense. Hutchinson. Well, they've lost it now. And Brown tries from all of 25, 30 yards and was never seriously going to trouble Paul Hyde at that range. angry about that challenge I think it came in on Robertson and into the fray went Brady and the referee now is going to have a word with Jason Cousins really did look very ugly just for a moment there Cousins, having scored at Wembley, is also going to be booked at Wembley. In the meantime, Keith Scott having a bit of fun with the linesman. Paul Robertson. Robertson is okay now. He was released by Berry and went on from Gig Lane to Woking. Martin O'Neill in shirt sleeve order now. Watching proceedings. McKenna. And eventually, the shot from Gary Brabin went wide. Well, if Runcorn were to get back into this game, there's no telling what Gary Brabin would do. There's been some pretty spectacular celebrations from both sides so far. And it's still... Runcorn 1, Wickham Wanderers 2. Carroll. Cousins. And now... A little bit more trouble, it's Rabin being called over. And I think he's going to get away with just a lecture from the referee. Guppy with the free kick and now Wickham have the throw Carroll this is a good run 
just didn't fall for them in the end. Crossley. And Shaughnessy finding his way out of trouble for Runcorn. Shaughnessy again, and that time he's won the free kick, which Gary Anderson is going to take. Well, this must bring a few memories back for him. It was a very different sort of day, if memory serves, though the rain scarcely stopped. Brown. The Shaughnessy tried the shot in the end. It was worth a go, but it was never really going to trouble Paul Hyde. Anderson, McKenna, danger here for Wickham, still McKenna, great save by Hyde, with Shaughnessy lurking, it was so important that Paul Hyde made that his, it was a great turn by Ken McKenna, but the Wickham goalkeeper wasn't found wanting. Scott looking for Hutchinson Robertson got there first Williams away Ryan now Scott in a bit of space here Thompson's arriving in the middle So Guppy with the corner. Coming up to the hour mark. And Wickham still leading by two goals to one. It's there! And Steve Thompson has made it three. And the man who scored that spectacular goal against West Bromwich Albion in the national spotlight of the FA Cup has now scored on the biggest stage of them all. It's Runcorn 1, Wickham Wanderers 3. Well, the two-goal margin again restored. And now we wonder if it is indeed to be Wickham's day. Anderson looking for Shaughnessy. Brady, Thompson involved, ever anxious, missed out on an FA Trophy final when he was with Slough, and 
Steve Thompson may well have scored such a priceless goal. Ian Harold getting his name in the book. Well, the chairs now come from Wickham. Tremendous noise inside this famous old stadium. Thompson. Hutchinson, he's got Scott in the middle. Away, anywhere will do from Braben. And we've got a streaker on the far side. Who is being led away. I think that's a first for the FA Trophy final at any rate. Well, the Sky Blue Army is the chart. I think Runcorn on the verge of making a substitution. As Thompson goes in search of another. There's no, by no means certain that Steve Thompson was going to play. Robertson. Anderson finding Shaughnessy. Away by Cooper. Every time Wickham get it away, it's greeted with huge cheers. And in Harold now is going to come off. And run corner going to bring on a substitute. When they can get the referee's attention, that is. Paul Vaines, the reserve official, is holding up that number five for all he's worth. And Joe Connor comes on. Well, he was part of the losing setup at Witten Albion a year ago. He desperately doesn't want to be part of the same scenario this time. But he might yet have to settle for another loser's medal. Three one in the FA Trophy final. Ryan. Well, back in the 50s, they used to fill this old stadium for the Amateur Cup final. And in 1953, Pegasus came here and scored six. Remains the highest score by any team in a Cup final at Wembley. Now, Thompson, he squared it for Scott. How did that one stay out? It was a superb save by Williams. Lovely running once more by Steve Thompson to set up Keith Scott. But Wickham's leading scorer has been unable to...
to find a way through. In the meantime, Wickham are now looking to bring on a substitute. Simon Hutchinson coming off. And Hakan Hayretin comes on. Played his first FA Trophy game for Wickham. In the semi-final against Sutton United. And now he's got a taste of Wembley. And he will surely enjoy that. Well, there's quite a stiff breeze blowing around Wembley now. We're at the midway point of the second half, which means that there's just over 22 minutes to go here. And it's Runcorn 1, Wickham Wanderers 3 in the 1993 FA Trophy Final. Hyretin, first touch of the ball. Too far for Dave Carroll. Well, Wickham may be leading 3-1, but a familiar figure was just on his feet there. Martin O'Neill, the Wickham manager. Never quite content with the state of play. Robertson. Robertson again, not prepared to give up the ghost as far as run corner concerned. Neil Parker, their other substitute, is warming up as Martin O'Neill obliges once more. Well, it's not quite like dear old Adams Park, is it? But it's not a bad substitute. Adams Park, of course, the playing surface is identical to Wembley's. You talk about the wide open spaces. That will surprise a lot of people. Robertson with the throw. And he is do or die for Runcorn now. Away by Guppy. Well, there were two of them injured now. Andy Kerr of Wickham Wanderers and Jimmy Brown. Of Runcorn. Well, this entire side of the ground is shaking. They've got banners in the executive boxes. Just about everywhere. I suppose if they'd let them, they'd have a light and dark blue banner in the Royal Box as well, but... Protocol has to be observed. Williams for Runcorn. Carroll. Robertson. Rabin forward. And in any case, the linesman's flag had gone up for the offside decision.
now, Scott. Guppy. Carroll. Ryan. Just over. This is Dave Carroll again. High betting, busy as ever. Scott just didn't have the legs to chase it. Connor. And Cooper knocked it behind, and that'll be another corner to Runcorn. We've got just over a quarter of an hour to go here. Jimmy Brown will take it. Kerr away for Wickham. High retin on the edge of the area. Connor tried to get in. Well, there's victory jigs. Being planned all over the stadium. In the meantime, Ian Brady comes off and Neil Parker comes on. Well, it's quite a transformation for Neil Parker. He was playing Sunday League football up in Liverpool for Waterloo Dock a year ago. And now he's at the most famous ground in the world. And he's got an early touch of the ball too. Shaughnessy. Bates, that's not a bad cross either. And Hyde did superbly to claim it. Ryan. Cousins. McKenna. Parker. And Shaughnessy was in there. Well, the tired legs starting to come into play now a little bit, you suspect. This Wembley turf looking in magnificent condition. Bates. McKenna! And over the bar. Well, now we've got another streaker.
And whilst I suppose it's all good natured, it's surely detracting from events on the field. Carroll. Even though he was falling, he still managed to play the ball, but he's got the free kick. And we've got less than a quarter of an hour to go. Well, just to paraphrase somebody who once said about a freaker, I think it was called, he's seen the last of his football for the day. Yet that warm either. <laughs> Guppy. Oh, this is a great run by Steve Guppy. It's a magnificent run by Guppy. Oh, that deserved the goal, surely. Well, Guppy had produced a run like that when Wickham played against Runcorn in the league a month ago. And at Adams Park, it led to a goal on this occasion. Keith Scott looking to be in some discomfort. <laughs> David Jones, the Wickham Wanderers physiotherapist, is on the field. Well, Scott is sitting up now. Arthur Williams was quick to alert the Wickham physio to the problem. <laughs> Keith Scott is okay. Well, who would have thought when last season began, after the intense disappointment of missing out on promotion on goal difference, that this season could have been so laden with riches? Well, Wickham Wanderers are enjoying the good times whilst they may. And who can blame them? The Runcorn, of course, celebrating their 75th anniversary this year. At least they've been to Wembley. You think of the great players who've never played at this stadium. Pele never played a competitive match here. Neither did the likes of John Maskell and Tony Horseman on a more local context. Well, Steve Guppy has played here twice. As has Keith Ryan and Dave Carroll. Cousins. And Hyrettin. Crossley. And we've now got less than 10 minutes to go. Arthur Williams. I 
coming forward. Now, Connor. And it dribbled all its way through to Paul Hyde in the Wickham goal. Robertson. Thompson with the little header on. Now though, Shaughnessy. And McKenna! Off the post. McKenna thought he'd scored there for a moment to set up a real grandstand finish. And it came back off the post. And Wickham can breathe again. Great jump by McKenna once more. This time Paul Hyde was out. Scott, Carroll. Dave Carroll tormenting Robertson. And couldn't quite get the telling ball in. Guppy will take the corner. We've got five minutes to go. It's run corn one. Wickham Wanderers three in the FA Trophy final of 1993. Guppy. Andy Kerr. And Andy Kerr has gone over injured there. Gary Braben made the challenge. You can see the divot marks in the turf. Andy Kerr is in some discomfort here. David Jones waiting to be allowed to come on. For what seemed like an eternity. Play will go on. Wickham temporarily down to 10 men. Guppy. Oh, just didn't come off. Well, now Steve Guppy goes into the book. That's for something he said to the referee. 
And we're now, what, three, four minutes away from an historic double for Wickham. And in a moment, they'll bring out that famous trophy. But not just yet. Jamie Bates shot going all the way through to Paul Hyde. Oretin. Scott. Ryan. Now, Carroll. Robertson was there, but Carroll's got the better of him. And eventually, it was turned behind by Hill for another corner to Wickham. We're into the last minute of the FA Trophy final. The victory jigs continue. The corner still to be taken. Guppy, who scored twice from corners already this season. Scott just couldn't control it. And in the end, it was academic. The referee's whistle had gone for an infringement. And the whistle's now coming in. McKenna. Time running out for Runcor. Martin O'Neill knows there's not too long left. And Wickham looking set now to bow out of the pyramid scene in fine style. Because the next game they play, they'll be in the Football League. Hyretin, Carroll. Carroll again for Scott. Now, Keith Scott. He's got Thompson arriving in the middle. Oh! It would have been the perfect finale. Scott picked out Steve Thompson, who just couldn't finish. The tiredness getting the better of him, perhaps. McKenna for Runcorn. They still haven't given it up. Well, we're now, by my watch, into time added on for stoppages. And Wickham are so close. Guppy. Scott's in the middle. Can he get it across? He can! And it wasn't too far away from Steve Guppy. Guppy again for Scott. And still play goes on. McKenna. Scott. Thompson. Cousins. Lovely football by Wickham. Carroll. It's there! And David Carroll! 
has made it 4-1. And the man who missed out on an England cap early this year surely has the best possible consolation a goal at Wembley. Poor Arthur Williams in the wrong corn goal. It was a fearful mistake. But who would deny David Carroll a crowning moment here at Wembley? It's wrong corn one, Wickham four. Well, Wickham now beginning to celebrate. Scott. Wasn't a bad cross if there'd have been anybody on the end of it. Ryan still chasing. Hyret in. For Ryan. For Thompson. For Hyret in. He might have a go. It was lovely football right up until the final execution of the shot. The referee is looking towards his linesman. He checks his watch. They can't be long now. Any moment, the whistles still come in. I bet in. I don't think anybody can want this to end. Guppy. He's got men racing into the middle. Thompson! And another corner, was it? Well, it must have come off a Wickham boot in the end. The goal kick quickly taken by Rancorn. But on a glorious early summer's evening now, Wickham are enjoying a party at Wembley. Rabin, Scott, oh, lovely flick by Scott, Thompson, now Keith Scott, Thompson again, Scott again, oh, it was delightful football again between Thompson and Scott, and they really are relishing the extra space that they've had in the last few minutes. Well, if there were any doubts that Wickham are the best team in the country at this level, they've surely been erased today. Carroll, the whistles still come in. Thompson. Dave Carroll. Every pass now executed with supreme confidence, and why not? That's it, and Wickham Wanderers have done it. Listen now to the reception for the 1993 FA Trophy winners, Wickham Wanderers. Steve Guppy, the first to claim the silly hat. Paul Hyde over there too. Jeff Cooper. Great scenes these. And just spare a thought for Runcorn. Who's fought against relegation all season, but they've made this a hugely entertaining spectacle here. But it's the celebrations now for Wickham. Glyn Creases in the middle there. The man who lifted the trophy 
in 1991. Matt Crossley there. Glyn Creaser congratulating all his teammates. Wonderful scenes, these. Kim Casey didn't get a game in the end. Well, Martin O'Neill now comes down once more to all corners of the ground to take his bow. And that's lovely to see. Sportsmanship at the highest level there. It must be difficult to take. But Joe Connacht came over to offer his congratulations to Martin O'Neill. Well, the Runcorn fans stand to their team. And the vast majority of Wickham fans now stand to theirs. It's party time at Wembley. And in a moment, we'll have the presentations. The FA Trophy has been brought out. And... All around this stadium, the vast Blue Army is singing and rejoicing after a memorable FA Trophy final. And as tradition dictates, the losers go up first to receive their medals. <laughs> Gary Anderson leading his side up. A winner in 1986 with Altrincham against Runcorn. This time he has to settle for second best. It's a long, long journey when you lose a major final here, but it's surely better to have played here. Well, they'll get their mementos, including John Carroll, by the way, the manager. Gary Brabin just going through there. Who earlier this season sung Pavarotti before the crowd at Geoville. Nesson Dorma, but tonight he has to settle for second best. But now, in a moment, Glyn Creaser leads Wickham up to collect the FA Trophy. How appropriate it should be, the popular Wickham skipper who but for an accident would surely have been playing today. It's a famous old trophy made of antique silver. So Bert Millichip hands it over to Glyn Creaser. And the FA Trophy belongs to Wickham Wanderers. Paul Hyde. Hands it on to Jason Cousins. And Andy Kerr, captain for the day, now relishes the chance. A hug for Jason Cousins for Mr. Ivor Beeks, the Wickham chairman. Keith Scott. Keith Ryan. The tradition is that they're passing the trophy back now, and why not Jeff Cooper and Steve Guppy Hacken Hyretin. 
Well, difficult to conceal the emotions there. Simon Hutchinson, Steve Thompson, and Davy Carroll. And there's Kim Casey and Martin O'Neill, who's been up these steps so many times as a player. Now holds the FA Trophy as a manager. Who knows what the future will bring for him. He receives a memento. It's not a medal. It's a special FA Trophy winner's plaque inaugurated for the first time for the managers this year. And there surely is an appropriate picture if ever there was one. Well, since Martin O'Neill joined Wickham Wanderers back in February 1990, there has been untold success for the Buckinghamshire club. And now he receives the congratulations of the fans. He never won an FA Cup winner's medal, Martin O'Neill. He won plenty with Nottingham Forest as a player. And now he's won his second FA Trophy. And becomes the first manager to achieve that feat in the same season as winning the conference. Well, now, once more, the lap of honour. In 1991, it wasn't so much a lap of honour, but almost a royal progress. The players now go walk about and they'll want this moment to last forever. Wembley now rises to Wickham Wanderers. The victory jigs come in. And the FA Trophy is paraded once more with light and dark blue ribbons. The conference was won effectively and ironically against Runcorn. And league promotion assured by Slough's defeat whilst Wickham were losing to Altrincham. But now they've sealed the double with an impressive and emphatic performance against Runcorn once more. Jason Cousins' goal started it off right at the start. Andy Kerr added a second. Steve Shaughnessy pulled one back for Runcorn. And then it was Steve Thompson and David Carroll in the second half who completed what in the end was a very comfortable victory for Wickham. The next time these players run out in earnest, it'll be in Football League Division 3. But these are the celebratory scenes at Wembley. And it's Wickham Wanderers who are the holders of the 1993 FA Trophy. <laughs> 